Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Bowie. I'm Matthew. And my name, Dill. And today we're going through the, uh... Pokemon the mansion. mansion. I don't know why I paused so long, but... Uh, we got lots of things to look through today. Because you're a good public speaker. Yeah, boy. Oh, you know what? You should pop that Max Repel you literally just bought. Mm. Oh, good, I'm high enough level. I was like 37. But you know we could be hiding 37. But we got we have five Pokemon for the first, like... Yeah. Uh, 35 episodes. Well, that's my lowest level Pokemon. Abritus, so... Ooh. I don't know what the highest level Pokemon is here, though. That's why... Not enough to worry about. Because I was playing some Soul Silver the other day, and I was using up... I used a Repel, but then it wasn't high enough level to, for it to mean anything, and I was a little upset. If you're 40, you're fine. Yeah. Escape rope. No, well, everyone's above 40. 5% chance. So, there's some items to look around, and this is one of the, actually the coolest areas lore-wise in the game. Um, Bunch of shit went down here, fam. Yeah. So this is an exit to it. Um, so the thing is about it is that there's switches that make change where the doors are. So, this door will... I'm going to hit a switch. This door will open, but I think one here will uh, close. close. So... Uh, that's something you just have to play around with, and that's kind of like a big gimmick of this level. Um, and go figure it out, because there's no hints. <clears throat> yeah, don't, we don't need hits. It's like a trial and error sort of thing. Um, this is one of them. So if I switch, th hit this switch, a secret switch, press it. Uh, yeah. Who wouldn't? <laughs> Me. I, I really like that, though. Press Who it, wouldn't? Press it, nah. Then you'll never become Pokemon champion. Yep. So there's two beds here, so there's not really, it doesn't seem like to be much of a reason for You and a friend could have a sleepover here. Yeah. Want to go have a sleepover in the Pokemon Mansion? Get burned um, to death? So the big thing is that this place uh, burned down in this accident, um, and I think we'll talk about that a little bit more. Well, I mean, most really people nice know about thing. it, but as we find out some of the lore of this area, I think we'll go into a little bit more deta det detail. Daddle. Daddle. Um, I don't think I have to redo undo that one. Uh, I can make it to the stairs. <laughs> yeah. Because there's another one right there, so there's not really a point for me to be like, ooh, I need to go just hit that same one again. So there's trainers, and um, this is this old place is one big puzzle. So the big thing about um, the trainers here is that there's a lot of burglars. Burglar. Uh, and they have, I think... Fire type. Fire and poison? Do some of them have poison? I see fire type purely. Okay. They, I know, I think in Gen 2 they have fire and poison types, like I think, mm -hmm. you know, uh, growl and coughing is like the big thing in Gen 2, um, but their main uh, thing is fire type, which is kind of weird for a burglar, <laughs> but... No, I, I mean, mean, when burglar doesn't work out, there's always just, there's always arson. Yeah, you know, it's just their backup plan. Yeah. Um, well, this makes it a really good place for a Breedus to, you know, go and just surf everything down. And it kind of fits with the theme of, like, oh, this is a burnt-down building. Mm -hmm. um, People and can't call the cops on you if they're burnt to death. Yeah. Ask Luke Skywalker. Oh. <laughs> what do you mean, Anakin? Nope, Luke Skywalker. Oh. His aunt and uncle burned to death. Oh, yeah. Oh. Ooh. But Anakin didn't burn to death. He burned to half death. He burned to life. He burnt, he burnt to life. Oh. Hello, sir. This place is a like huge, like huge, huge. It's huge. Yeah. So, the, there's a uh, there's really no uh, new Pokemon here. No, um, all garbage. You know, trainer wise. But there's a Pokemon that you can catch here for the first time, and that Pokemon is Magmore. But uh, the deal, you should tell them about you know your, your best friend Magmore. Magmar is not my best friend, and it's only available in blue version. Magmar, like every other fire type, kind of lackluster. But, Magmar's got a pretty good move pool. You get things like Confuse Ray, if you want to go all that cheese. You got your really solid Flamethrower. You got a ton of normal moves. Mega Punch, Fighting Moves, Counter, Seismic Toss, Submission. You get access to Psychic. Although I think, yeah, your special attack is the more lackluster of your two attack stats. Wielding 95 attack, 85 special, Magmar is more suited for physical. But as a fire type, that stab is what you want. So focus that 85 special. Speed's 93. Puts him in a decent tier. Not the best, not the worst, just mid-ground. But with 57 defense and 65 HP, you're really going to be cutting it close in defense. Probably getting one shot. Especially against anything that you don't resist. Which is a lot. Yeah. 
So, um, a big thing about Magmar is that it's really a fire type that's outclassed by all the other fire types. Just because uh, most fire types, the big the thing is they're they have they're more physically offensive and their move, it, their their type is a special type. So that ends up really hurting a lot of them in the end. And Magmar is uh, the same. You can't really play it in the meta game, but in the main game, because of its move pool and the diversity, you can have a lot of fun with it. And really, the two big things it has for itself is you know submission and psychic. So submission actually takes a uh, make something of its decent attack stat and Psychic gives it type coverage, so... It's definitely recommended for the main game, but you get a little late is the issue. So, if you surf over here early, like, uh, like we talked about for the Fossil Pokemon, A-OK. -okay. Otherwise, yeah, you kind of forget about them. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. so now, let's, uh, read this diary. Read someone's diary. February 6th, Mew gave birth. We named the newborn Mewtwo. So, the biggest, strongest legendaries in the game are Mew and Mewtwo, and this uh, part of the- this dungeon um, is what really sheds light into, you know, their history and stuff. So there's a- there's a lot of reading to do here, there's a lot of diaries to find, you know, old scientist journals, and that's one of the cool parts about this game. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, mom, mom. I think the- yeah, there's- Level 40 with Tutor. Jesus. Ah, uh, so close. This would have a swole AF. He's <laughs> just like this super buffer tatter just bumps in and is like, I see a giant clam, I'm gonna beat you, and like, mm, mm, mm. I've been watching you and that giant clam over Diary. There. July 5th, Guana, South America. Guano. A new Pokemon was discovered deep in the jungle. Ooh. That ju then that Pokemon was Mew. That's... Yeah. Uh, I think there's another diary that says that. Um, so you kind of piece together the story that's going on, so... Oh, oh wait a minute. Wait a minute. Mew, a strange Pokemon in the Jungaroo, giving birth. Except he didn't give birth. Yeah, we're. Oh, there's some exciting things for uh, later. Um, for later? For now. For later to talk about. That uh, people have to know. Okay, so here. Ooh. Yeah, there's a. Rooftop. I think this is where it's supposed to be. I think I might have missed a little something. No, no. Tired of these swole ass Rattata. Yeah, you said, oh, as long as you're level 40, you'll be okay. Yeah. yeah. That's the classic Dylan talking out of his ass, but... Oh, yeah, 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 this is the way I'm supposed to go. So, let's just explore a little bit. Um, this is, I want to, like, kind of piece together the full story here, but... What is that? No more... Nothing we gonna get. Yeah, no, it's the classic. I can put my HM up. Just eat the Ultra Ball. I'm not gonna eat. Oh, calcium. That's a uh, special, right? You are correct. Yeah, give it a Thunderbird. Oh god. And what is this? Iron. Oh, oh that's look at that. That's defense. Yeah, that gives uh, that's boost defense. So because it makes your blood stronger. Yeah, it makes your blood turn into metal, and then your bloodstream starts working, and then you die. The more blood you have, the more a breed is for sure. Yeah. That's that's a breedist's thing. Also, it's Garland, but I mean, Garland has a lot of stats that are stupid and dumb and busty. Yeah, well, actually, none of his stats are, like, the best. He's just well around good, so... He just has the highest total... Huh? He has a really high total set. Yeah. Where... I tell you, I haven't slept in, like, two days! Oh, yeah. Dylan, uh, works lots of shifts of work. Uh, he'll work a shift at, like, Chili's, work a graveyard shift at a hotel, and then... Go <laughs> sleep for two hours and do it all over again. Yeah, boy. Uh, gotta hit. The... Yeah, this dungeon can be a little bit annoying with like, oh, I went here. It's like, oh, go up, hit the button again. Like Matthew, you wanna know where to go? And he's like, nah. We have the magic of editing. Yeah, I mean, look. I have the power of God and anime on my side. Dylan's sitting here like, oh, look at me, we should use a guide to this. I'm like, no, what kind of loser loses a guide for Pokemon? We should use a guide for our guide. Yeah, I mean, that's just kind of like plagiarism at this point. And then I can find a guide on giving a guide for a guide for the guides. And then I'll write a book called The Guide's Guide to Guiding Your Guide for Guide. Okay, so, now we have uh, a diary. This one's later, July 10th. We christened the newly discovered Pokemon Mew. Yeah. Yeah. He's Is a this Mew? Boy. Is that Mew? Oh, Mew. It could be... Yeah. 
Uh, R A T I C A T E. Mew. Mew. All your problems will go away. I just remember like talking to like um Nick one day, our friend Nick, yeah. and he was like, you know, I want to name my son um F I C H. Wait, F I S H. What the hell was I trying to say? And he was like. But it's pronounced Bob, and I'm like, mm, well, that's really... <laughs> that's one way to spell Bob. <laughs> you do you, Nick. Hey, I think it was Nick. He can spell Bob however he wants. <laughs> yeah, like, you know, I'm not, I'm not the one to, you know, I don't want to rain on anyone's parade. If Bob is short for Bobbert, who would? Then hell. So now we can go down here. But what was up there in the first place, now you never know. Uh-oh. So now, there's um, another type of trainer that's in here that's scientists. You know, we see a scientists in the Silph Co. building, and they use yeah. mainly electric types. Um, He's doing science and shit. Yeah, oh. Oh, a Breedus is not gonna, is gonna breed ass. Wait a minute. <laughs> what? Oh, I think that means what you think it means. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm gonna um, drink my coffee. A breed this, a breed that. Ooh, got him. Mm. Self destruct. Blow yourself up. No, that's a waste. Never a waste. Always a work. You're a waste. Always a waste. Never yeah. work. Okay, magneton. Magneton because it weighs a ton. Mm, I think Garland needs the. I don't think that's true. It's caboodle. Over here. Yeah, magneton's a. Uh... Is he just gonna stomp him? And by stomp, I mean stomp the ground to make an earthquake. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna earthquake him. Earthquake Yeah. Earthquake. Earth <sighs> Part of me thinks I should have just given earthquake to um, Tauros, actually. Eh, doesn't matter. Because then you I can. You can. You can stab on this one. I would, I would just give him Fisher. But I mean, Tauros just has godly ass speed and attack. Yeah. I I've got a good team this time. So um, they made this busted ass Pokemon. They're like, how do we, how do we nerf it? Yeah, just knock his speed down five points. Wait, which Pokemon? Nidoking. King. He slow. He did knock it down five. That speed down a lot. He's real slow, isn't he? Yeah. Cause he real fat. He, he all fat and heavy like. He a fat boy. Okay, so there's over here. What is? I he think the staircase. Fat, he a fat dad boy. Goes nowhere. Oh, Yay, fantastic! Yay! Okay, so I want to jump Can down. Can you jump to your doom? Yeah, this one. There's one that like takes you back, and there's one that takes you forward. That's the one that takes you forward. Yep. Maybe. Nope. Oopsie poopsie. Uh. Go oh God. Back up. Yeah, that's a annoying part about this dungeon. Is just like, oh, you have to. There's so many like things that. You have to make a chance on when it comes to it. Like, oh, this is either going to take me to where I want or exactly opposite to where I want. But now it's not a chance. Now we know. And now we know. Okay, so secret switch, press it. Yes. Always good to learn something. I never learned nothing my, a day in my life. But you went to grad school. Yeah, I went to grad school for a semester. You know what I learned? You don't know shit. I don't know nothing. I don't know Jack Diddle. I know, I'm stupid. Anyways, no Jack Diddle either. Who is that man? Who yeah. would imagine Chili's boy over here? Uh, not the smartest man in the universe. And me, Chili's boy. Can can that like I want? That's what I want Dylan. I want Dylan to become like the mascot for Chili's and get paid a lot just to be like I'd be Chili's down. boy. And you just wear like the Chili's boy T-shirt. Wear the giant Chili on my chest. Uh, now we are. We're here. Ooh, ooh. This is a scientist. Where is here? Uh, the right way to go. Oh, the not shit way? Yeah. There's some good TMs here. Uh, who are you? There shouldn't be anyone here. I've been all alone here for 64 years. So, these are some of the scientists that... So, essentially, there were experiments going on about Mew here. Um, and we'll see more into that, but that's kind of, like, the implication thus far. And so, there's burglars in here, you know, just, like... It's a burned down building trying to like buy it, get things so they can sell it and make some money. Remember kids, you want to steal from someone, wait till their house burns down. Yeah, it's 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 actually rather effective. And there's the old scientists that were working here and they're like probably trying to get back their old research or something. Who somehow didn't die. Yeah. Um, I think the imp uh there's some crazy there's some crazy implications here. Um 
I know in the Pokemon manga, this is what happens when you try to play God. In the Pokemon manga, there is um, so there were four of the gym leaders were evil and worked for Team Rocket, and four of the gym leaders were good. Yeah. Um, so, um, Blaine used to work for Team Rocket, and he was a researcher. So the big thing about this place and lore, and I mean the manga's not in the same canon by no means, but they they're kind of based similar, like all the similar ideas. And in um, in the lore of this, you know, um, the researchers here were researchers for Team Rocket because Team Rocket was trying to create an ultimate Pokemon, and they're using Mew's DNA to create the ultimate Pokemon uh, Mew Two. Yeah. Um, which we're going to kind of learn about a little bit more here. Diary, September first, Mew Two is far too powerful. We have failed to curb its vicious tendencies. And, you know, Mewtwo um, being vicious, yada yada yada. Being blows up a place. Being savage AF um, ends up being the end of... Um, the Rocket Research Center. Yeah, well, this this place. And, you know, Mr. Fuji um, was said to, you know, have worked here. Um, and so I did Blaine. You know, they were researchers together. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Um, so there's some cool things with the Pokemon lore. Um... And this is actually one of the more interesting places. Um, you know what? We probably we have showed a lot of tr trainers on stream this time, so I'll cut this one out. Yeah. Oh, I'm actually dying, fam. Oh, why are you tired? Yeah. Oh. Hit me like a shitload of bricks. Like I'm shitting bricks. I I'm sorry. I really I kind of oh. realized just now that I've been talking over you a lot this episode. Yeah. 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 It's okay. Don't worry. I'm fine. I'm fine. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm just like thinking and getting into it. Um, but I'll try to make sure you have more room to talk. That's okay. Um, 90, 190, 125, you want... Okay, dope. Um, you want to see if we have some soda? I got tea right here. Shot full of like sugar. It's actual just syrup. It's just syrup. Yeah, I figured that you'd want some caffeine though. Syrup. Have you played any more Ultra Sun Ultra Moon? No, not yet. I haven't gotten around to it. I'm good to me neither. Probably if I some on the road. Since I can't play anything else on the road. Yeah. Are we back? Yeah. Alright, we're back. Um, so now there's this area over here. Look at all this nothing. Well, actually, I thought yeah. there was going to be actually nothing over here. There's a full restore. That's a little bit of something. I was scared that my bag was going to be full. I was never scared. Oh wow, muck. That's a 5% chance, fam. Yeah, look at me, I'm so lucky. Let's see yeah. this muck I didn't want to see. Huh, goodbye. <laughs> bye bye. Muck's like, I came all this way to see you, and you're like, goodbye. Goodbye, Jojo. Goodbye. So now we can go around here, so this is one of the easier parts to remember, and oh, look what this scientist trying to sit there all smug, like, ooh, I'm gonna, he's gonna sneak up on screen, and then I'm gonna get him. No, but what a loser. Really. Cause we're too smart for that. Yeah. I'm too smart for that. I wouldn't go that far. Yeah, I played a I played a lot of this game. I played like twice. I just a lot of Gen 1, because I replayed um like well we played Fire Red and Leaf Green a lot. I never played those games at all. Oh, well, they're pretty cool. They added some cool stuff. Um they actually added an entire like section of the game after you beat Blaine. And like some huh. more, like this, the Sevi Island. So there's these seven islands you can go explore. I guess so, Sevi, like seven. Yeah. Ah, uh, I see. So three of them are available um, right away, but then um, you get four more later, and they have some cool things to do. Um, like what? There's there's some more Team Rocket stuff going on. Uh, there's a battle tower. Um, but there's a they just add a lot more post game material there. Huh. And they also moved uh, Maltrace's location. So Maltrace is on in a volcano on one of those islands. That sounds dumb. It's actually cool. I think it actually if it's cooler, because you still, you can still get it before the end of the game. Oh, like, okay. You actually get it earlier because it's in it's on I think like the first island. Yeah. So you have access. So I don't want to hit that switch yet. Oh. Where pills aren't doing that much for me, but um, if I do that switch, I close off. Um, it opens off the way I, that's, I have to go, but it closes off an item that I might want, so. Um, yeah, yes, yes. Look at this. Oh, it's worthwhile. 
Yeah. Debatable. That was worth, like... <laughs> that was definitely worth it, Dill. Yeah, 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 fair enough. It doesn't take up any more inventory space because I already have uh, rare candies in my inventory. Yeah. So, I'm saving a lot of my rare candies towards the end because rare candy candies equal a level. Um, but the higher level you are, the more a level means, the more experience it equals. So, um, it's really the most most worthwhile to... Use your savory rare candies for the end of the game. Pop all of them rare candies from level two to level eight. No more room for items. I, I think so. I there's I think there's two TMs here that I might want. Um, what is team fourteen? Put escape rope. It contains Blizzard. So this one's Blizzard that I already got. Um, and <laughs> no. Are well, you Debridus? Well, yeah. Give her the ice beam. So Blizzard's a lot more powerful, but it's not as accurate. It's 90. It's 90. I'm scared to like that will screw me over a little bit, you know? In what? The main game? Yeah. It's impossible to get screwed over in the main game. Yeah, you're right, but... Mm. You know what? But I already wasted the Ice Beam TM, so I don't want to like... Why do you waste the ice cream TM? Yeah, because I gave it to... I mean, who else is going to use it here? I don't know. You're putting too much thought into it. Yeah, I mean, but I think, like, the biggest thing I want to use it against are, like, things that are quad weak to it. Well, probably ice cream will kill it anyways. Uh-huh. Uh, I can just throw an X accuracy on it if, I, if it becomes a problem. <laughs> it won't. Yeah. I don't know, because, you know... You played Pokemon, it says 90% accuracy, it means 2% accuracy. I mean, basically, story of every time I've ever fought Pokemon. And I think this one's just Solar Beam. And, uh, Solar Beam, it charges up for a turn, and it's not that good. Um, especially in this gen, because you, you charge up, you get hit, and then you do a powerful attack. Yep. And so I'm gonna just drop Solar Beam, because this is what we need. What is that? I, this is the key to the gym. Oh, uh, you mean the strange key? Yeah. Yeah. You can imagine where it goes. Yeah. So we did that. Um, we kind of talked about the lore of this place. So I and we got an escape rope, which was really nice for them to give us that. Yay! But don't you still need to do something else here? No, I got this key. There's nothing else. Oh, okay. I go into every room. Is it Walter's room? No. Where is he? Victory Road, dude. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of like out of nowhere. Like, why is Moltres there? <laughs> of all places. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Maybe they're just hoping someone runs into it. Honestly, like, the way, like, geographically where they're placed, like, is kind of equally uh, put apart in a triangle across the world. Like, they're, re they're spaced out pretty well, I think. Um... And that's that, and we just have this gym. Um, yeah, but I think this episode's gone on for a little bit uh, longer. So, yo, Champ of the Macon, the hot-headed player, but Blaine is a fire-type Pokemon pro. David Blaine. Dows a spirit with water. Water. You better take some burn heals. Nah. You better take some burn heals. And, oh no. Blue's already been here. Daba dee, daba die. Well, go die in a hole, Blue. That joke needs to die. Anyways. Ain't this the quiz one? Yes, yeah, the quiz one. Oh, see if you pass the quiz next time. Let us know how you did down in the comments below. So, like, comment, subscribe if you liked what you saw. And we'll see you guys next time for some more Pokemon Yellow version. A. All yellow version. A. Yeah. A, B, C. A, B, C, D. Subscribe. That was cute, Dill. That's the new outro. Uh, yeah, that's forever. That's going to be in my outro forever. Ask me tomorrow what it is, and we'll see what I say. <laughs> It's not gonna, he's gonna forget. <laughs> Anyways, peace out. Pachum. I almost fell asleep for a sec. <laughs> <laughs>